Unicorns Talk is a weekly podcast where we discuss the ups and downs of the human experience, from personal growth to romantic relationships and everything in between. This show is for life livers, life lovers, and life enhancers. My name is Latrice Sampson Richards, your life enhancement coach, and together we're going to laugh, love, and learn to maneuver all of life's little messes. Let's go. Hey everybody, it's Latrice Sampson Richards here, your life enhancement coach, and you are tuned in to episode 11 of the Unicorns Talk podcast. Um, I'm excited to be here with you all today, uh, and it, this week has been a very, very interesting week for me. Uh, I think in our nation, it has been definitely a week of turmoil. Uh, it seems like every single week there's something else going on. Uh, this is actually like my third third or fourth time recording for this week's episode. Um, I had a really difficult time this week in terms of, um, you know, choosing a topic for the podcast, uh, because with everything going on right now, politically speaking and socially, you know, with the, uh, take a knee protest and, and Donald Trump making the comments that he made and then everything going on in Puerto Rico, it's just like, I don't know which direction I want to go in. And, um, I have, because I have thoughts about all of these things. And I, but I think, you know, I've been going back and forth about what type of show I want to create for you all. You know, like what, it, what is this platform for? What is it that I want to use this platform for? And it was causing me a little bit of, um, internal unrest because I, you know, didn't necessarily want to be too political. You know, I I definitely want to maybe straddle that line, but I don't want to cross that line. And I'm thinking about, you know, what will this person have to say? What will that person say? You know, and just all of the possible fallout and consequences of that. And when I really thought about it, though, this show, this platform is all about helping us to grow from the realities of life, right? Um, we, we are on this journey together and there are certain things that we experience collectively. And I think that there are always lessons available for us in the tragedies that happen that we experience um, in our lives. And so, uh, I, like I said, I had a lot of internal turmoil about, you know, should I, you know, talk about the issues or should I try to just keep it light and, and talk about some other things or, you know, stay in my lane, um, as some folks would say. And I made the decision that above all else, my brand, the work that I do, um, the legacy that I want to leave behind is about authenticity, being genuine, being authentic, and being real. And this is what is happening in our world right now. This is what is happening in my world right now. And I feel compelled to talk about it. And so that's what I'm going to do today. And I'm not apologizing for that. Uh, I know I apologize to y'all often, but I'm not apologizing for that. I'm just letting you in on my thought process um, and, and what led me in this direction. You know, everything that's going on right now with the uh, NFL take a knee protest that's happening uh, over the weekend there was a sharp increase in the number of NFL players, coaches, and, uh, you know, uh, owners who participated in the take a knee protest, uh, during the national anthem. And this has definitely caused, uh, some debate to say the least across our country, uh, 
because a lot of people feel like the the players were not supportive of the original protest when Colin Kaepernick first started protesting last year. They they didn't necessarily say anything against it, but they didn't speak out in support of it either. And and they had not taken a knee thus far. And I watched several videos on Facebook, on Instagram, um, of friends and, you know, public figures or people who, uh, like Shannon Sharp, who I respect very deeply. Um, but they were criticizing the NFL players and owners and coaches who decided to now take a stand, um, supposedly as a direct result of the comments made by Donald Trump, whereby he called for uh, the firing of any uh, NFL player who quote unquote, uh, disrespects our anthem or disrespects our flag, um, by kneeling during the anthem and, and, and called them sons of bitches and said that they should be fired. Um, and that, you know, basically they, they shouldn't be doing that. And so there's a lot of people who took issue with the fact that, uh, the, the players, decided to support the cause after these comments were made. And that that frustrated me significantly because I felt like you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't, okay? Because when they were not taking a knee, they had something to say about it. People had something to say about it. Why are they not supporting the cause? Why are they, you know, they owe oh, they Uncle Tom and, and and just all they worried about is their money and this, that, and the third. So now that they have taken a stand, we still have something to say about it. Why it took for, you know, Donald Trump to say something in order for them to speak out. And they're not really, uh, you know, supporting the cause. They're, they're just don't like being called sons of bitches or having their jobs put on the line or being told what to do. As a therapist, I work with clients often around uh, taking a stand, whether it is social injustice or setting boundaries with their families or, you know, something like veganism, you know, like just taking a stand. When it comes to taking a stand, No matter what the cause is, no matter what the stand is, you have to do what makes sense for you when it makes sense for you. Okay? Not everybody is on the same page. Like I said, we're on this journey together, but everybody is at different stages in their journey. And so just because I didn't arrive at the destination at the same time you arrived at the destination doesn't make my journey any less relevant. Somebody is always going to have something to say about your choices and your decisions and your beliefs and your values. But at the end of the day, your journey, your perspective, it's about you. It's about who you are, who you want to be, and what it is that you believe in, regardless of what somebody else has to say about it. And so I think that For those who criticize um, people for not taking a stand and then also criticize people for taking a stand, you know, find something else to do. Uh, Maybe it might behoove you to take a step back and look at your own journey and try to understand why it is you feel the need to criticize every single move that somebody else makes. You know, at the end of the day, I'm all about, you know, the the journey. I'm all about, uh, I was going to say the struggle, but I don't want to say it like that. But, you know, I'm all about us coming together for a greater cause. Um, I love the black community. Um, I love America, you know. Um, but at the same time, I understand that Uh, Each individual person has to do what's right for them when it is right for them. And who am I to judge your journey? Who am I to tell you that your journey is flawed without looking at my own journey and identifying the flaws that exist there? Um, It doesn't matter 
where you were yesterday. It doesn't matter what you thought yesterday. It doesn't even matter what your perception was yesterday. Every day is a new opportunity to do something different, to think something different, to see something differently than you saw it the day before. And you have the right to change your mind whenever you choose, especially when you receive new information. Um, I teach this to my clients all the time, both in my coaching practice as well as in my counseling practice. You have the right to change your mind whenever you receive new information. And this new information can come from anywhere. It can come from your emotional state. It can come from your thought process. It can come from facts, uh, you know, gaining facts about a situation. Uh, Anytime that you gain new information on a situation or an event or an occurrence, uh, you have the right to change your mind. Uh, And with new information comes new perspective. And with that change in perspective, there comes an opportunity to choose differently. And in fact, choosing not to change in the face of new information, I think that that's the real tragedy. Because then you're choosing to remain ignorant. You're choosing to uh, not grow. And and I just, I, I don't understand that. Um, that's what I have a hard time respecting. Someone who has new information and still chooses to act based on the old information, chooses to ignore the new information. Um, at the end of the day, you don't owe anybody any explanations and you don't owe anyone any answers to any questions that they might have about your sincerity or about your appropriateness. You need to know that the decisions and the choices that you're making are because that's what you choose to do based on the information that you have. We only get one life, um, and but that life is full of chapters, lots and lots of chapters. And the choices we make are what transition us from one chapter to another. And all I can really say is, you know, take all of that into consideration and choose wisely. Choose wisely. That is that is my hope for everyone out there is that you choose wisely and that as you learn new things and have new experiences, you allow yourself to grow from those things and that we allow the people around us, the people that whether whether it's our friends and family and people that are close to us or just people that we know, people that we're close in proximity to, it doesn't matter. Allow people the room that they need to be able to grow. And that don't mean that you have to agree with everything that they believe. That doesn't mean that you have to agree with every decision that they make, but allow them to make those decisions. Allow them the room in the space that they need to make the choices that they believe are the right choices for them, because you need to be able to do the same thing in your own life. So that's all I have to say about that. Um, What else is going on these days? Um, Well, obviously, we know that um, there was a horrible tragedy in Las Vegas over uh, the weekend. There was a mass shooting, another mass shooting uh, in Las Vegas. Last I checked, I believe that there were 59 people dead and like 500 people injured or something like that. Um, The shooter had like 10 AK-47s or M16s or something like that. Just a ridiculously unnecessary amount of uh, firepower and obviously had intent to do significant harm to these droves of innocent people. Um, You know, of course, this has ignited another political debate. Um, Everything is a political debate these days, but it has ignited another political debate around gun control measures and things like that, which for the record, I am definitely a proponent of gun control uh, and not just for people with mental illness. Um, I think that there are some loopholes that currently exist that that need to be closed up um, that have a very high likelihood of minimizing uh, things like this happening. It seems like it's happening more and more frequently. What I really want to touch on is, you know, 
kind of some of the fear that comes up as a result of these types of experiences. The world is a very scary place right now. Um, and I don't know that uh, the, it has ever not been a scary place, depending on where you are in the world. Um, but America right now especially has been extremely terrifying um, and very reminiscent of uh, days long before I was ever born. And that in and of itself is terrifying. Uh, it seems like everywhere we look that there's something else to be afraid of. There's something else that's threatening our lives or our livelihoods and um, or just downright disappointing um, and fear inducing. And so um, there are some people that want us to be afraid. There are some people that want us to live in fear um, and to second guess ourselves and to second guess our existence. And uh, what I would like to share with you today is that you have to live anyway. Okay. Um, and what I mean by that is that we cannot cease to experience life because we are afraid of the things that might happen to us in this life. You know, the reality is that you don't know what's going to happen or when it's going to happen. Um, and for a control freak like myself, um, that is a scary thought in and of itself. But at the end of the day, I also know that I owe it to myself to experience as much as I can of this life and of this world. And so I think it's important for us to remember that even though these are very difficult and trying times um, in, in our country and in our world, and that things seem and feel very, very bleak um, and, and scary, just downright terrifying, that we have to continue to live. We have to continue to experience. We have to continue to grow and develop and, you know, all of the things that, that make life worth it. My condolences, my heart, my prayers, my thoughts, I mean, everything goes out to the victims of the most recent uh, mass shooting uh, in America. And I'm sad to say that there will probably be another um, at some time in the future. I think that's just the reality of America right now and, and us continuing to fail to do anything about it. Um, but while we mourn, let us also remember to live um, because the people who lost their lives, they were living in that moment. They were living. They were experiencing life. They were having a good time. They were enjoying all that is available to us um, in this lifetime. And I think that you know, the best way to honor their lives is to live our own and, and to always remember them. Um, or at least, you know, that's, that's my plan. Um, and also to do something about it to make sure that nobody else has to go through that experience and no other family has to experience uh, losing a loved one in such a horrific way. Um, so, that's uh that's all I got for y'all today, y'all. Um, today's episode is pretty short. Oh, I did want to do a high five. Um, and this week's high five goes out to uh, well, originally it was going out to. So I'm gonna do two high fives this week. Um, originally it was gonna go out to all of the uh NFL players who took a knee this weekend and the owners, um, and also uh. The, the players, owners, and coaches who took a knee this week, um, you know, my hat's off to you because that, you know, you're definitely putting everything on the line um, a, in order to take a stand, and I definitely can respect that. Um, and then I also want to give a high five to all of the, the people of Las Vegas um, who have really banded together uh, to help each other and to be with each other in a time of need, uh, giving blood and um, just the first responders. And I mean, we're hearing all of these stories about people who uh, really stepped up when it was time to step up. Um, and so high five all around um, to, to all of the first responders and the people of Las Vegas. Um, and, you know, hopefully uh, this 
you know, is an issue that we'll deal with and, and that, you know, we won't have to keep sending our prayers and condolences for mass shootings, for the victims of mass shootings. Um, but until then, uh, my thoughts and my prayers and my condolences are with those folks. And um, we're going to keep moving, y'all. We're going to keep living and, and we're going to keep experiencing. So... All right. That's all I got for y'all today. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, if you haven't yet, please make sure that you subscribe uh, on iTunes and on Stitcher. I am going to be moving to a new platform uh, this week, actually. And um, as you all see, I don't know if you noticed or not, but today is Tuesday. Um, and so the releases are going to be coming out on Tuesdays now instead of Fridays. I'm definitely working on uh, increasing my consistency for y'all. And so this is a big part of that. It was just really hard for me to keep that Friday deadline. So I'm moving the releases to Tuesdays instead of thir uh, Fridays. Okay. So check it out every Tuesday, uh, Unicorns Talk podcast on iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, SoundCloud, and Libsyn, soon coming on Libsyn. Make sure you like, share, comment, and download. Uh, follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Latrice Sampson Richards, on Twitter at L Sam Richards. Uh, you know, holla at your girl, tell me hey or whatever, you know, say what's up. Let me know if you have any show topics or anything that you would like to uh, for me to discuss. Let me know, all right? Let me know. Uh, and any positive feedback or constructive feedback, I'm open to both. Uh, let me know what's on your mind, okay? Um, I love y'all and I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. Until next time, be well.